This is the front gate of Gardens of Paradise here off Aguadosi Canyon Road and uh, on President's Day February 20th it looks just very inviting and very well done. The overlook on President's Day February 20th 2011 the sun is just right and shows on all of the beautiful park that uh, the developer has made. What a beautiful spot you have here. I came by a couple of months ago and you were still building, but now it looks like you got pretty much done. Yes, almost everything been done. Uh huh. And, and what's your idea for, for this place? But my idea is a venue, is a place so you can do your party, your birthday, your uh -huh. wedding, you uh -huh. name it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And I see you have a beautiful tent there, uh, drugstore, and uh, then you have water, water, waterfall, waterfalls, uh huh, in place. Maybe you could give give us a tour so my readers and viewers can see it. Sure. Okay. Tell me about the tent. Well, the tent is uh, all the about five to six hundred people. It's ten thousand square foot. Oh, really? And uh -huh. is a is a structural tent. It's not just a tent. It's a structure. It's all. They have everything built in. There are 12 uh -huh. opening doors, which is 25 foot each one of them. Uh -huh. And we have a balcony that's facing uh, the water, the waterfall. You, you can heat it in the inside? Yeah, or? yeah. You, can, you have a place that you, we can put a, a, uh -huh. a heaters coming, going through, or cold, or air conditioned, whatever you mean. Sure, sure, you sure. And opening places that. Uh huh. Well, you know, it reminds me a little bit of the gymnasium at Vasquez High School. This is the is a fireproof by California, uh -huh. and uh, it doesn't go nowhere. Yeah, yeah, it, it doesn't really... go nowhere. Uh huh. It's almost, if I remember, it's twenty five mil or something like this. Uh huh. Uh huh. So it's fire rated. It's... Sure, sure. You have somebody driving there, I see. Yeah, yeah. You, you can drive right up to it, huh? Yeah, you can drive around it. Uh huh. Well, let's go and take a take a tour. The special fabric. Oh yeah. Uh huh. You see, they have the air conditioning or heater or. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Sure. Sure. Yeah. My, isn't this amazing? <coughs> Side here, sure. And 10,000 10, square feet? It's 100 by 100. Uh huh. All sides. Sure, sure. And just close it up and. That's it. And that takes all the wind away. Yes. Marvelous. But why, why do you choose this shape? Why we choose this shape? Yeah, why to make it look like this? Because it's different, it's unique. Yeah, yeah. It is unique. Uh -huh. And to have a 30 feet high, yeah. Well, yeah. you cannot build it unless you put posts between them. Uh huh, yeah, that's right. And you said earlier on you started further we, down Avodosi Canyon Road, but that didn't work out. So then you. You want to do it there in the bottom of the property. Uh huh. But we changed the. Uh, changed it. To changed it. We're supposed to have only small pound. Yeah. And we decided to do triple legs. Uh huh. One that fall into another. Uh -huh. and every time we add more and more and more. And more. more. Uh huh. When did you finally finish? Uh, we right now in stage of finish, but we finish right now. Yeah. We, we ready to walk. Uh huh. Usable enough. Usable enough, and uh, the uh -huh. property is 90 acres, so we have a lot more to do. Can you give me some idea what it uh, costs to uh, like to have a wedding here? Let's say you want to have a wedding reception. We have a price list, but reception costs you about uh, four, five thousand dollars, depending on what you're going to do. Uh huh. And uh, to be in this tent costs you about uh, eight to ten thousand dollars. Uh huh. 
And we supply you tables, chairs and stuff like this. All so that. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And this is Paradise Island. Yes. And some people just want to have their party out there. Yes. All bridges. Yeah. Wood look bridges, but it's all from concrete. I know, I can see it. <laughs> and uh, we have a website, everybody can see it there. For <coughs> What's the, the name of the website? Gardensofparadise.com okay. And what's your background? How, I mean, are you architect? Are you a no, oil a, chic? Or I'm what a, are you? I'm a builder. <laughs> a builder. Okay. And uh, general contractor. General contractor. Uh huh. Investor, whatever you call it. Sure, I understand. When did you acquire this property? Uh, 2008. Whoa, you made a lot of progress in yes, we did a lot of three, progress. four years. Yeah. Uh huh. This what you see. Everything yeah. here is a focus. All this road, we didn't have this road. Yeah, yeah, no, I know, I've been watching. The entrance and the road and the... Uh -huh. We're still doing. Uh-huh, yeah, I, I, I've been we're watching. Down and down and down and down and down. Uh-huh. Till everything going to be perfect. Historic restoration is going on here at Vasquez Rocks. This is one of the old buildings that's going to be upgraded and made into offices. Well, uh, Travis, uh, this restoration project going on here at uh, Vasquez Rocks, what's your part in it? Can you explain to the local people what, what really is happening here? Um, the county wants us to restore this old, what they call the Ranger Residence. Uh -huh. we're, re we're changing it from a residence to, a, to an office. So uh -huh. an office for the county employees uh -huh. that uh, work here at the park. Okay. The ones that are in the tra in the trailer now are gonna. Yeah. Once we're com once, once this project's completed, the trailer yeah. will go away and they'll they'll move their office. They'll in there. migrate back into here, huh? Yeah. So what's it like uh, restoring uh, this old lumber and stuff? Pretty uh, hard, I guess. Not hard, just just time consuming. Uh huh. It's time consuming. That being an old structure, not a lot of things are up to code. Yeah. Some things we are bringing them up to code. Uh huh. Some things are gonna stay the way they are. Uh huh. We're trying to keep as much of the original fabric. Yeah. As we possibly can. How about the wiring? Do you have to rewire it, or do you just pull the wires out and put new wires in? Or? Some of the some of it's going to stay the same original. Yeah. Because it is good wire still. Some of it. Uh huh. And a lot of it's going to get replaced and um, added. Added some receptacles, pathways for data, fire, uh -huh. security. Sure. It's all going to be brand new. Uh huh. Uh -huh. All, all new, low voltage. Do you have any idea when this was originally built? Um, I've heard 30, 1938. 1938. And from my understanding, it was all built with with uh, extra material from the movie sets they used back in. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Interesting. So, oh, so they beg, borrow. That's kind of why some of it may not be up to code. Plus, the codes, there probably weren't too many codes back then. <laughs> this was way out in the, in the mountains. The I Thule's. Think so, yeah, the movie, they got, from what I understand, the movie, the production companies built this. With uh, old movie sets that they used here on the. Oh, I see. Just, I mean, it's a little house. It's not big, but there is a lot of work here. With yeah. All these windows, everything's got to be hand sanded, and. Uh huh. So there's a lot of work, even though it's a small little house, a small project. Uh huh. Every every old structure I've tried to redo is harder than building it new. Absolutely, because all the wood siding that we took off. Yeah. The company has, has sanded it, restored it, and uh -huh. we have to put it all back on. And it's all labeled and cataloged. <laughs> It'll be like a puzzle. Uh-huh. But that's what they do. And there's a good crowd of people in the park today enjoying hiking and the beautiful views of the rocks. The new interpretive center is being built over here at the ranger station, which is being refurbished. This is the main up thrust at Vasquez Park. These rocks have appeared in countless movies, television, commercials, steel shots, advertisements for cars, and uh, all is available free of charge to the public.